Diabetes mellitus is one of the major public health concerns in Malaysia. Our country is ranked as the world number two in kidney failure due to uncontrolled diabetes. The disease can be an underlying cause to many other health complications such as end-stage renal failure, heart disease, stroke, blindness and amputation. Type 2 diabetes mellitus is the condition where you have high sugar level in the blood. It happens because insulin, which is a hormone produced naturally by the body, is not enough or the body stops responding to insulin. That is why we give insulin externally through injection to the body, so that it can control your sugar level to be at normal conditions. You must be able to recognize your Humalog 7525 insulin lispro protamine pen. It is a dark blue pen with a dark blue dose knob and it has a white label with yellow stripes. Your Humalog insulin contains two types of insulin. One which gives you a short term effect and another which gives you a long term effect. The short term effect is to give you protection against raised blood sugar levels right after you take your largest meal. The long term effect is to supply your body with sufficient insulin to maintain your body functions until your next dose of insulin is taken. Your Humalog insulin is a cloudy suspension. Remember to always shake your insulin pen well before use. If the insulin has changed color or have a clear composition, do not use the insulin and seek for professional advice. You should have your insulin injection 15 minutes before taking your largest meal of the day. It would be easier if you could decide earlier on your heaviest meal for the day so that you can always be aware to use your insulin before consuming that meal. It would be suggested that your largest meal preferably be the lunch and not dinner or supper. Insulin is generally injected under the skin. Slightly carry the skin before giving an injection. Be sure to inject the insulin on different sides every time. Do not inject the insulin on the same spot twice in a row. Common areas to inject insulin can be the abdomen, around 2 inches away from the belly button. Then, the top outer areas of the thigh, upper areas of the arm, and finally, the buttocks. The Jocelyn Diabetes Center recommends keeping each injection an inch apart and not reusing a site for 2 weeks. There are various rotation methods which can be used. For example, if you use your abdomen, you can start near the top, right under the ribcage, near the center line of your body. The next shot can be one inch to the left and so on until you reach your extreme left side. Then drop down an inch and work your way back. Depending on how big a person you are, each side of your stomach could easily hold 36 to 72 injection sites. Sometimes, small temporary tattoos to mark the sites of injections can also be used. The best way would be to establish a personal rotation pattern and then sticking to it in order to ensure that injection sites are maximized for its benefits. After injection, hold the insulin pen for 10 seconds in place. This is done to ensure that the insulin is properly delivered to the body. Sometimes, giving an insulin injection may hurt. The needles produced today are very fine ones. Thus, the pain while giving an injection happens when you are not using the correct technique to inject. Otherwise, it may be because you are using the needles too many times. Pen needles are intended for a single use, but many people use them for several shots. A needle becomes blunt when it is used for many times. Thus, giving an insulin injection using a blunt needle will cause pain and irritation at the site of injection. This is the reason it is recommended to only use a needle once or twice for injection. Some areas of the body have more nerve endings than other areas. So, if injecting into a certain part of the body hurts, then try another location. It is also common for many users to leave the needle on the pen between shots. This carries two risks. First, some insulin can dry out and crystallize in the needle, fully or partly plugging the pen. This eventually affects the delivery accuracy. Second, leaving the needle in place can introduce air into the pen reservoir and an uncapped needle can act like a siphon, causing all the insulin to leak out of the reservoir. The storage of your insulin pen is very important point to be highlighted here. The unused insulin pen must be stored in the refrigerator, but not in the freezer. For safety measure, it's advisable to avoid 
storing the pan near the frozen compartment. When stored properly, unused insulin pan lasts until the expiry date stated on the pan. However, the insulin pan, which is in use, has to be stored at normal room temperature, away from heat and light. Unlike unopened pan, Humalock Mix 7525 can only last for 10 days, which it shall be disposed 10 days after opening, even when there is leftover dose in the pan. Being placed on insulin treatment is overwhelming to most people as we are all wary about the need of getting injections. However, there are definitely reasons why insulin stays being the common treatment for diabetes. Insulin is a hormone, so it's safe and natural. The major side effect of insulin is low blood glucose and that can be easily prevented and treated. Diabetes pill, while extremely beneficial, has way really more side effects than insulin. The more convincing fact about insulin is how it effectively controls and maintains your blood sugar level at a normal range. With this, many other diabetes link health disease can be avoided, such as kidney failure, stroke, and heart diseases. Insulin rarely causes problems in diabetes if it's taken properly. Hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia, however, can occur when insulin is not taken in the right way. Hypoglycemia is a condition when your sugar level in the blood is very low. This can be identified by recognizing some common symptoms such as extreme weakness, blood vision, sweating, trouble speaking, tremors, stomach pain, confusion, and seizure. To overcome this effect for short term, you can take sugary drink. Then, seek immediate medical attention right after this step to help you to return to your normal sugar level. Usually, hypoglycemia occurs when you overdose on your insulin, which means you take more insulin than what is prescribed for you. Sometimes, taking insulin when you do not eat will also cause this effect. So, remember, insulin should not be taken when you do not eat. Hyperglycemia is another different condition from what I have mentioned just now. Hyperglycemia indicates high sugar level in the blood. This can be shown by symptoms such as increased thirst, loss of appetite, increased urination, nausea, vomiting, drowsiness or sleepiness, dry skin, and dry mouth. This symptom also can occur when you do not take insulin as prescribed by the doctor for you. Forgetting to take insulin as well lead to these situations. Insulin may also cause some other mild side effects, such as irritation or allergy reactions at the site of injections. However, this can be managed easily through proper injection technique and hygiene practice while injecting the insulin. For example, you need to clean your hand roughly before injecting insulin and also swap the skin with alcohol so to avoid infections. It is very common for many people to forget to take their insulin dose. However, to avoid this situation from happening, there are a few methods which can be used. First, you can try setting up an alarm in your mobile phone to remind you on the insulin dosing before a meal. Next, you can also download the insulin app in your mobile to constantly remind you of the next insulin dose. But if missed dose happens to you, take the prescribed dose immediately if you realize that within two hours after your meal. But if it has passed two hours, skip the dose and resume to your usual dosing pattern for the next dose. Self-monitoring of your blood sugar level is very important to know whether your diabetes medication are keeping your sugar level within normal range. So what is the normal range for blood sugar level? The target goal for blood glucose set by American Diabetes Association are 80 to 130 mg per deciliter before a meal and less than 180 mg per deciliter two hours after the start of the meal. 
The American Association of Clinical Androcologists has defined stricter blood glucose target goal of less than 110 mg per deciliter before a meal and less than 140 mg per deciliter two hours after the start of a meal. Both guidelines are based on evidence showing the blood glucose reading that are needed to prevent the complication of diabetes. The best way to check your blood glucose is four times per day, three days per week. Checking before breakfast, two hours after breakfast, before dinner, and two hours after dinner, three times per week for a few weeks will help you to identify your sugar level patterns throughout the day. You may use a logbook where you can write down the reading. You can also record any other findings in the logbook such as feeling of dizziness or excessive sweating. The logbook would be a useful tool for your healthcare provider to address your diabetes medication doses when needed. For insulin user, precautions should be taken to avoid hypoglycemic episodes. Insulin should not be used when the blood sugar level is low. Alcohol can increase the risk of developing low blood sugar. Thus, be careful about using insulin when you are also consuming alcohol. It will be best to avoid drinking alcohol. As Humalog Mix 7525 expose you with higher chances of hypoglycemia due to its fast-acting nature. Always take your meal within 15 minutes after injecting insulin. Remember, any longer than that can definitely cause you to suffer from low blood sugar. Do not also miss your doses of insulin as to avoid high sugar level. The key here is to always keep a regular meal habit and fix insulin injection time. This way, you can avoid all these unnecessary episodes of high and low sugar level. Consideration should also be taken about the storage of insulin. Always remember to store unused Humalog insulin in the fridge and use Humalog insulin at room temperature, away from heat and light, and discard the insulin pan after 10 days of opening it. Remember to also check the expiry date of the insulin before using. Do insulin offer promising results? Taking insulin alone will not be enough for ideal diabetes management. For that, you are recommended to follow a meal plan, control your weight, and getting regular exercise. Let's have a little session to recap on what we have been through. The first question when you should take your dose of insulin? A. 15 minutes before meal. B. 15 minutes after meal. C. Any time before meal. D. Any time after meal. Your answer is A. 15 minutes before meal. Hemolox Mix 7525 must be taken 15 minutes before meal and is advisable to be no longer or shorter than that as insulin needs some time for it to reach its active level in your body. With the same concept, as insulin is activated after 15 minutes, not eating after that will cause unnecessary lowering of blood sugar in your body, hence risking you to develop hypoglycemia. So, patient is advised to time themselves after taking insulin dose. Now, to the next questions. How you should inject your insulin? A. Inject at the same spot. B. Change sites of injections after two shots at the same spot. C. Change sites of injections with every administration. D. Same spot can be reused after one week. The answer is C. Change sites of injections with every administration. Change of sites of injections and the same spark to only be reused after two weeks is important to prevent scarring of tissue at the site of injection, which would affect effectiveness of insulin. That is also important to prevent accumulation of fat at the injection sites. The final questions. Is it true? 
Both unopened and open insulin pen shall be stored in the refrigerator. The answer is false. Only unopened insulin pan should be stored in the refrigerator. Open insulin pan should be stored at room temperature and can only last for 10 days. Open insulin pan is not advised to be stored in refrigerator as chilled insulin will sting when being injected. It's important to note that storing open insulin pans in the refrigerator will not prolong its self-life of use.